On November 30th, 2023, Minister for Lands, Housing and Urban Development Judith Navakova submitted the survey report of Wugoma Central Forest Reserve to the Minister for Water and Environment. If you look at this report, it does not have any conclusion of what should be done. And yet the surveyors were asked to make sure that they do opening and ensure that Goma's forest land is there. They have also listed the number of customary claimants who were given land by Bunyoro Kingdom. No one has explained, the report does not explain how Bunyoro entered into the forest to award over 20 people hectares and hectares of land. This report, mandated by Cabinet Directive Number 465, City 2019, in 2019, was prepared by the Department of Surveys and Mapping. As Save Goma Forest Campaign, we requested government to ensure that the survey team should have independent people to observe what is going on. The unfortunate thing, and the reason why we think this report is a sham, all the people who have been given titles, the report creates an impression they are not in Goma. Only people who were given offers by Bunyoro Kingdom, the report says they are within the forest reserve. However, Save Bogoma Forest Partners expressed disappointment over the report's failure to decisively address encroachments on Bogoma Central Forest Reserve land. The cancellation of all illegal and fraudulent land titles within forested and protected reserves is strongly recommended. We call upon government to, consider, to reconsider the management of forests in Uganda, particularly in light of the pending merger of ministries, departments and agencies. In addition, we think that uh, NFA should be strengthened instead by strengthening the institutional capacity of, of the institution to manage all the forests and uh, instead of uh, transferring it to FASSD. The government is urged to prioritize the protection of Bugoma Central Forest Reserve and other vital forest reserves by addressing concerns and taking appropriate actions. So that Kaye, UBC News.